The Three Little Pigs by James Orchard Hallowell Phillips. Once upon a time, but not too long ago, when pigs spoke rhyme and monkeys ate lots of jello and hens ate spinach to make them tough and ducks went quack, quack, quack. Oh, there was an old farmer who had three little pigs, but she didn't have enough money to keep them. She sent them on their way to seek their fortune, warning them, but beware of wolves. So off they went their separate ways. The first piggy, Harold, came upon a man and asked, Please, sir, can I have some straw to build me a house? The kind man gave Harold some straw, and Harold built a big straw house complete with running water and a wood-burning stove. The second little piggy, Herman, came upon a woodsman and asked, Please, sir, can I have some wood to build me a house? The kind woodsman gave Herman some wood, and Herman built a big wood house. Not to be outdone by his brother, Herman added electricity to his house. The third little piggy, Larry, being the oldest and smartest of the piggies, built his house out of bricks and one up them all. He had cable TV. All three piggies could now live happily. Er, until one day, a wolf came and knocked on Harold's door. Little pig, little pig, oh, won't you let me come in, asked the wolf. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, Harold replied. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the wolf. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew Harold's house down. Harold ran as fast as he could to his brother Herman's house, which, it turns out, was right next door. Harold Panting, said, Close the door! Lock the door! The wolf is on my curly tail! Boing! Shrieked Herman in surprise. The wolf arrived moments later, banged on Herman's door and said, Little piggy, little piggy, oh, won't you let me come in? Herman said, Boing! Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin! Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed and at last blew the house down. Harold and Herman looked at each other in surprise and shrieked, Oink! Oink! They ran as fast as they could to Larry's house, which, as luck would have it, was next door to Herman's house. The wolf gave chase. Harold and Herman rushed inside and exclaimed, Shut the door! Lock the door! The big bad wolf is on our curly tails! Moments later, the wolf came to Larry's door and banged loudly and said, Little piggy, little piggy, oh, won't you let me come in? To which Larry replied, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Well, he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed some more. And then he puffed and he huffed, but could not get his house down. Out of breath, he sank against the door. I'll be back tomorrow, he said. Larry coolly looked through the peephole in his door while Harold and Herman patted him on the back. Way to go, brother, way to go! Larry lightly knocked on his wall, looked back at his brothers, and said one word. Bricks. The young wolf, having strayed from home and caused quite some commotion, was promptly grounded by his parents. He was told to never pick on cute little pigs again, even if he was hungry. And so, Harold... Herman and Larry all lived happily ever after.